Of the more than 1,000 active volcanoes around the planet, only nine have earned the designation of a supervolcano. These supervolcanoes can be found across several continents and include Yellowstone, Wyoming, Campi Flegri in Italy, and also in Japan. Among these volcanoes, only one is located in Central America. The supervolcano I am referring to is the Titlan, which is located in Guatemala. It is still quite active as its magma chamber has produced explosive eruptions as recently as 1856. The Atitlan supervolcano is located in south-central Guatemala where it is 70 kilometers west of the nation's capital, Guatemala City. As we zoom in on the supervolcano, you will note that it contains a vast lake which appears to be rather circular. This lake fills the low points of the majority of the volcano's youngest caldera which originated approximately 85,000 years ago. That eruption distributed ash over an area of 6 million square kilometers or 2.3 million square miles ranging from Florida to Ecuador. Yet, this eruption merely represented the smallest of three caldera forming eruptions. The largest of Atitlan's calderas is 37 kilometers long and 20 kilometers wide which formed an eruption an order of magnitude larger. The Atitlan stratovolcano began forming 14 million years ago when a volume of andesite lava erupted onto the surface. This initial phase of activity began constructing a volcanic cone which was covered in layers of grey ash. Explosive eruptions occurred building this individual volcanic cone into a towering stratovolcano. Over the next several million years, groups of stratovolcanoes and smaller volcanic cones were constructed. Over time, eruptions from these vents became increasingly explosive. The reason for this is that the lava was slowly becoming more silica-rich as it leached material from the underlying crust. This caused erupted lava to have a higher viscosity which began constructing lava domes instead of volcanic cones. Then, a long-term period of dormancy occurred. Underneath the volcanic complex, a large amount of molten rock slowly built in the underlying magma chamber. Then, 11 million years ago, something caused this highly silicous magma to finally erupt. As several large vents erupted simultaneously, kilometer-high pyroclastic flows raced across the landscape, even traveling up mountains. The furthest these flows reached was 115 kilometers distant at the modern town of Kulku. As ash began raining down, it quickly piled up. Within a span of 48 hours, some areas have been buried in more than 200 meters of volcanic rock. Then, due to the large amount of volcanic material erupted, totaling 2,800 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock, a massive section of land collapsed downwards, forming a truly impressive caldera. In the following 3 million years, a similar sequence of events occurred. A basaltic stratovolcano eventually became endocytic, followed by lava dome forming eruptions, and then finally a period of dormancy. By 8 million years ago, the center of the volcanic complex had moved 5 kilometers to the south of its original location. Then, it had another massive eruption. Pyroclastic flows once again swept across the landscape and a total of 450 cubic kilometers of ash and lava was ejected in another super eruption. Then, for an unknown reason, the overall volcano became dormant. Activity would not resume until 1.8 million years ago when the aforementioned cycle began again. This cycle culminated in a catastrophic eruption 85,000 years ago which formed the modern 22 kilometer wide caldera. In total, 270 cubic kilometers of ash was ejected. Remnants of this eruption can be found in the several dozen meter thick beds of ash found in the surrounding landscape such as shown on screen. In the aftermath of this eruption, a new volcanic cone known as San Pedro erupted from a vent on the southwestern caldera wall. Over the next 45,000 years, a 1400 meter or 4700 foot tall stratovolcano was formed. After this stopped erupting 40,000 years ago, a new stratovolcano known as Tolimon began to form. This cone stopped erupting only 10,000 years ago and activity has since been confined to the Atitlan volcanic cone which completely formed in the last several thousand years. Since 1469, this volcano has produced 14 medium-sized explosive eruptions. Although an eruption has not occurred since 1856, it will erupt again in the future. Such a future eruption will require the complete evacuation of several towns surrounding this volcano in a 10 km radius due to the risk of pyroclastic flows. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.